Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 30th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, 304 angstroms. No new major events to talk about since the C-class solar flares yesterday. But still some amazing images here. We have a couple Earth-facing sunspots right now. Looking at the last 48 hours, a cresting limb. Plasma filament still dancing around the west side there, which is in the southern hemisphere. And as well, a couple shots taken off from the back side, creating a couple CMEs out towards Mercury and Mars. Looking at outgoing here, not much activity. No major CMEs to talk about. Having a look at multi-spectrum at the last 48 hours of events, we had some C-class solar flares. And as well, we've got that coronal hole, which is now turning away. Coronal hole space weather event is just about over. As, as things have toned down, KP index dropping down to about a two or three today. Welcome to Devil's Night. Welcome to the day before Halloween, whatever it may be. But God bless you all and much love to you all. And thank you all for watching today. I appreciate you checking in on our sun and our planet. And prayers for humanity during these times. It's pretty crazy out there. And that's why I kind of like to watch what's going on with our planet instead of all the crazy people that are trying to run it. So, having a look here, 171 angstroms showing three sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Heads up, stay aware, prepared, and stay tuned for the next Daily Do to keep you updated on the latest with our sun. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. We did go through that one G1 geomagnetic storm impacts from the coronal hole. Solar winds are coming in right now, 522 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in a low C range. Not much being reported since yesterday. Solar proton flux average, and there's all that geomagnetic activity from the coronal hole. Having a look here at our magnetosphere as the pressure is really on now, as it has changed since yesterday, we we're showing and it didn't ha quite have the wings around the bow shock of the solar winds. But there is an immense amount of pressure on our planet right now. Solar winds have been up and over 500 kilometers per second for the past two days. But things are set to calm down soon. But notable on the front side and on the right side there. Just an interesting reverberation from all this pressure. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, this is pretty much where you can get the space weather forecast. Little yellow circle is Earth and showing those CMEs taking off towards Mercury and Mars which is that red planet. And LASCO-3 showing Mercury and Mars and as well those CMEs. I had noticed that star coming through or whatever it was, and now I know that it is Mars as Mercury and Mars are making a conjunction here as Mercury is swinging around our sun and has been for the past couple weeks. Still some amazing imagery here brought to you by NASA and of course SOHO and all of the researchers and developers there. Now let's get to earthquakes the last 24 hours as we had, the, I mean the largest earthquake today was a 5.4 in Jamaica. That's right, Hope Bay, Jamaica reporting a 5.4 earthquake. That's the largest today and this was an area I warned yesterday it's way too quiet still through the Central America region. Pretty deep earthquake there. Colombia, 4.5. Notable earthquakes here. South America, Argentina border with Chile. And as well towards the tip here, 4.4. .4. 
in Porta Natalis, Chile, down into the Scotia Plate, even 5.1 being reported here, South Sandwich Islands, just north of the Michael Volcano. Having a look across the African Plate, not too much to talk about except for northern here, 4.3, Morocco reporting an earthquake today, and as well, Spain, 2.8. 5.1 there north of mid-Atlantic was yesterday. Owen Fracture Zone reporting a 4.3. And as well, activity up into the Eurasian plate here. 3.7, interesting, being reported there. Russia, eastern Russia, and as well Tajikistan. But look at all this activity through the Philippines and the West Pacific plate right now. Volcano Islands region, south of Japan, Something's got to slip here real soon, folks. Stay aware and prepared. Heads up if you are in an earthquake-prone zone. Philippines, Indonesia, all through these regions. I do believe something is going to pop here real soon, especially with all this pressure on our planet. We're going to get a deep earthquake and then a big earthquake. Last 24 hours, we haven't reported many deep earthquakes at all. So expecting something to come here shortly. North American plate, United States and Canada, not too much to report. Most notable is that 5.4, Jamaica, man. That's right, Hope Bay, Jamaica, reporting that 10 kilometer depth. We'll just have a quick look here to see that this is a sparsely populated area. Not too many people would have reported that. Having a look at USGS across the West Coast, California. Minor activity through L.A. today. And as well, notable activity up in here towards Stanley, Idaho. That has been increasing over the last seven days. So heads up. Speaking of which, we'll give a quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. But still, on watch. South American plate up to the North American plate. Waiting for something big. So if you are in an earthquake-prone zone, be ready. Have a go bag ready. Know the earthquake drill. Know what you need to do. Know who you need to get a hold of. Much love to you all. This is the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Definitely something building. West Ring of Fire, Pacific Plate, down into Philippines, Indonesia. And as well, lots of... New earthquakes developing across Iceland right now could be on the verge of another eruption there. But right now, as of right now, there are no other new volcanoes to talk about. Still about 55 that are active and erupting around the world. Pretty cool planet. And pretty cool family here with Daily Events Worldwide. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's get to weather here. Overlooking North America first. We do have a pretty cold low moving through Ontario. Brought some snow to northern parts. And then watch for this system here Wednesday, Thursday to attack the Atlantic provinces at the same time. Pretty big system is affecting BC and Washington coastline. Moving into the long range forecast here. Another big system comes into BC fourth into the fifth and as well lots of cold temperatures big cold high coming in through the canadian prairies and that is going to very that's going to cool things a lot through north america right now and as well another big system there developing in the long range for northeastern united states atlantic provinces eastern canada snowfall totals here having a look most notable here up in uh, Greenland, 300 to 400 centimeters of snow, 72 centimeters of snow in parts of Ottawa, and as well, uh, Michigan, up to 40 centimeters of snow, all along the foothills of Alberta, and as well, BC, in the next 10 days, could see upwards of 100 centimeters of snow. So, yeah, winter's definitely here. Having a look at weather overlooking Europe and Africa, Daily evaporation rains for Africa, and then multiple systems here still converging on the European continent. And as well, a pretty cold, intense, low-pressure system moving through Russia. That is going to start bringing some very cold temperatures. But yeah, a lot of rain heading towards Ireland, 
the United Kingdom, Spain, strong systems there. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Australia, and New Zealand. Still a low pressure center north of New Zealand. It is going to bounce back around off the coast of Australia. Linger for a few days and then watch for multiple systems to develop over northern parts of Australia. Bringing you some a little bit of moisture, but not too much as those highs are pretty dominant right now in the southern hemisphere. No major typhoons or cyclones to talk about in the long range forecast for there, but notable here, the cyclones developing through the eastern Pacific. Coming out of the Caribbean and as well, the big system still the big rain train heading into BC and Washington and Alaska. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you're in aware and prepared. Much love. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily doom. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.